Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create, abstract infographic, like this. So let's get started. As usual, first we need to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Now create a solid layer, this is our background layer. Select the layer, and search fill effect. And choose little bit light color. Now drag map image into the timeline, resize the layer according to the comp. And change opacity 15%. Select the layer and create a rectangle mask like this. Open mask property, go to around one second forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame, and move the mask left side of the comp. Select both keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Perfect. Now we need to create a circle. So select ellipse tool, and create a circle center of the comp. Press S for scale, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%, make both keyframes easy ease, and adjust your graph like this, and move the layer few frame forward. Now apply drop shadow effect. Increase the softness. And decrease opacity 30%. And distance 0. Now create outline around the circle. So select ellipse tool, fill color none, stroke around 6 pixel. And stroke color little bit gray and create a circle like this. Align the circle's center of the comp. Now select the layer and add trim paths. Open trim paths, go to one second forward, and add a keyframe on end. Then go to first frame and change the end amount 0%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Also move the layer few frame forward. Rename the layer according to you. I am not good in renaming. Now we need to create our other circles, so create a new circle like this. Fill any color, and stroke none. Make sure our top circle's anchor point, should be center of the main comp, like this. I call this circle BG1. Now go to 20 frame forward and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame, and change scale amount 0%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. And move the layer few frame forward. Cool. Now apply fill effect. And change the color as you like. Also move the layer below to middle circle layer. Now create a triangle shape like this. Make sure it should be center of the circle. I call this triangle and move the layer below to BG1 layer, and apply the same fill effect on it, 
and change the color little bit darker. Perfect. Now search BG1 layer, and apply drop shadow effect. Increase the softness, distance 0, and opacity around 40%. Parent the triangle layer, with BG1 layer. Move the layer few frame forward. Perfect. Now again select ellipse tool, fill color white, and create a circle like this. I call this layer as a white, and move the layer above the BG1 layer, and move the circle in center. Also parent the white layer with BG1, and move few frame forward. Now we need to animate this, so press S for scale. Go to few frame forward and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. Make sure our anchor point should be center of the white circle. Perfect. Also move the layer few frame forward. Cool. Now select triangle, BG1 and white shape layers, and duplicate them. And move them together, now select the BG2 layer, and change the fill color. Also change the triangle color. Now select BG2 layer. Press R for rotation, and rotate the layer. Again make sure our anchor point should be in center. Change rotation in 90 degree. Now again duplicate all three layers. Then move them together. Select BG3, press R for rotation, and change the rotation. Also change the color. Again duplicate the all three layers. And move them together and change the rotation. And also change the color. Similarly we need to duplicate them multiple time, and adjust them. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After making all circles, our comp looks like this. Cool. Now select all BG circle layers. Press R for rotation, and add a keyframe. Then go to few frame back and change the all rotation amount 0 degree. Here you can see Now select all keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this
you can adjust the keyframes according to your animation preference. Cool. Now select the white shape layer one by one, and move few frame forward. Perfect. Now we need to add our icon on circles. So go to project window, and create a new composition. 200 by 200 pixel. I call this icon 1. Now drag your icon into the timeline, and resize according to the comp. Now go to main comp, and drag the icon 1 comp into the timeline, above the BG1 circle, and resize it. Select the layer and search fill effect, and choose same circle color. Now we need to animate this, so press S for scale, and shift R for rotation, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change scale 0% and rotation, minus 30 degree. Select last keyframe, and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Move the layer few frame forward. Now duplicate the layer and move over the second circle. Go to project window, and duplicate the icon comp. Then hold alt key and drag icon to comp, over the selected icon layer. Open icon to comp, and replace your icon image. Also change the icon color. Make sure our icon comp should be parent, with its own BG shape layer. Perfect. Similarly, adjust the icon in all circle. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust the icon, here you can see. Cool. Now add our text. So select text tool, and type your text. Now open text layer. Go to animate, and add opacity and tracking. Tracking amount minus 10 and opacity 0%, now open range selector 1, then advanced, change shape ramp up, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on offset, and offset amount minus 100%, then go to 1 second forward and change offset amount 100%, select both keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this, Also move the layer, below to first icon layer, and parent the layer with, BG1 layer. Also move the layer, few frame forward. Now add some description, so select text tool, and create description box and type your text. Now animate this text, so open text layer. Go to animate and select position, and opacity. Change Y position 50, and opacity 
Now select Anime to 1 and add Expression Selector. Open Expression Selector, change based on lines. Now here I have Delay Expression, so copy the expression. Hold Alt key and click on Stopwatch icon, and paste it here. Also move the layer, together with the first text layer. And parent with the BG1 shape layer. And move the layer few frame forward. Cool. Now duplicate the layer, and move above the BG2 shape layer. And also move the text and parent with BG2 shape layer. Similarly duplicate the layer multiple time and adjust them. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust all text layers our comp looks like this. Now add some other text in center of the circle. So select text tool and type your text. Open text layer go to animate. And add position and opacity. Change Y position minus 50. And opacity 0%. Then open range select a 1. Then advanced and change shape ramp up. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset, and offset amount minus 100%. Then go to one second forward, and change offset amount 100%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. And move the layer few frame forward. Now duplicate the layer, and change your text. Also change the Y position, plus 50. Perfect. Now again select the ellipse tool, and create a circle like this. Fill color none, and stroke color white. And increase the stroke around 20 pixel. Select the layer and move just above the map layer. Now search drop shadow effect. Increase softness, and distance 0 and opacity 30%. Now open shape layer and add trim path. Open trim path, go to first frame and add a keyframe on end, and end amount 0%. Then go to 2 second forward, and change the end amount 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now move the layer few frame forward, and adjust according to our circle's rotation. Perfect. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for Ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel.